Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and we're moving over now into chapter 9. Let's take those first six verses and see what's beginning to happen right here. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither staffs, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and from there depart. And whoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. And so you see, preaching and healing go together. We've talked about this before. Uh, a lot of people just want, you know, the, uh, the felt needs. We want to uh, not only meet them where their physical needs are, their material things, but all that is nothing next to really to salvation, uh, spiritual healing. So they, they go together. They're very important. The one paves the way for the other. But we need to do both pieces, healing and preaching. So notice when he calls his 12, he gives them power and authority over all demons, not some demons, all demons, right? And to cure diseases. So they all had power to cure diseases. They all had power to cast out demons. And he sent them to preach and to heal. Those are the two that always go together. Preaching the gospel, healing the sick. They are one thing together. So he gives them instructions. Basically, don't plan for, you know, all. don't take a big wagon full of supplies. Take, take a limited amount of things that you need. You will be provided for as you go. And so there's something about this also here for us. When somebody comes who's serving God, who is God's agent, uh, people should, we don't want to take advantage of this in any way, but people should make a space for them. People should help them out. When somebody's truly an agent of God, then you give them help. You can feed them. You can shelter them. You can give them transportation. God has a purpose, and he wants us to build in and be a part of it. And so all along the way here, the food, the bags, the, the clothing, he said, you know, be blessed in different households. And again, by the way, the ministry here is to families. And so that's an interesting piece, too, because today the family is in such disarray in our Western world. So uh, go wherever you go. Stay there. Do your work. And then when you, then you leave. And he says, if you're not received, you know, don't, don't lose sleep over it. If you're not received, shake the dust off your feet and go down the road to the next town. So we just keep on working. Sometimes we will not be received well. Remember we had, what we had a few mornings ago? They actually asked Jesus that the country with the pigs, they said, please leave. You're not welcome here. And Jesus left. So this is something for even for all workers. Sometimes we will not be received the way we'd like to be received. So we do the best we can. We shake the dust off and uh, leave the people approachable for another worker. God will send another worker. And we go on and carry on the work of God in the next city where he sends us. Right, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we make many plans. And here's a case where we see that uh, sometimes the plans to be made are few. And we are to rely on more directly on you through those who would be willing to serve you. So, Lord, help us to uh, be about your work, preaching and healing, going together those pieces, and give us insight about how to work in that way. This is the Bible pattern. But, Lord, you do a work. May your kingdom come. May we be your hands and feet. Better than we've been, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Preaching, healing, God's kingdom, live. That's what we get to do. <laughs> There could, there's nothing better. There's nothing better. May God's blessing be upon you today.